six films before and after special effects. The cinema industry continues to develop, and nowadays it's hard to distinguish a computer-generated imagery from a real set shot. CGI is more and more present in movies, and to be honest, it's hard to imagine a blockbuster without a lot of special effects. But if you're interested in how those movies look without them, then get comfortable and get ready for a few surprises. But before we start, make sure to hit the bell below and subscribe. Also, share your thoughts with us at the end of this video. So here we have six films before and after special effects. Game of Thrones Heads up, this video might have spoilers of the seventh season of Game of Thrones. So if you haven't seen that yet, it's probably best to skip this video to the next ones or just close your eyes and cover your ears for a few minutes. Let's remember the incredible scene of the attack on the Lannister troops in the fourth episode of the season. If you saw the season, you will remember the epic moment when a horde of Dothrakis, supported from the air by one of Daenerys' dragons, destroyed the Lannister army. Believe it or not, this scene was one of the most difficult to produce because, with the exception of the flying dragon, most images were recorded in real life. Yes, you heard me right! Creators of the series took the time to burn several doubles and explode the wagons with carefully placed explosives. The developers used several technical tricks to recreate the presence of a huge mythological dragon in the recording set. All the shots from the behind the dragon were made with the help of special cameras mounted on cables and drones. Once obtained, a drawn dragon, a very real Amelia Clark, were added to the scene. The actress also had to record scenes separately riding a machine created specially for the occasion. The machine had no resemblance to a dragon, so Emilia had to play with her imagination and act as if she were actually traveling on a huge dragon. In addition to that, there were not even fake clouds around the actress. The whole scene was filmed on a green background. However, after the recordings inside, Emilia was able to participate in the open field scenes with the other actors on an island in the middle of a frozen lake. Attraction This Russian movie, directed by Fyodor Bondarchuk, has generated different reactions to the characters in their stories. However, it is obvious that the computer design in this film is incredible. Besides, it is the first Russian aliens film and its creators made quite an effort. For example, take a look at this scene. When a huge alien spacecraft lands in an area of Moscow destroying everything in its path. Believe it or not, all of this is the result of the graphic designer's work. But the destruction of the buildings is not the only example of special effects in this film. The scene in the first few minutes of the film, in which the protagonists await the beginning of the story, and all the scenes in the background and inside the spaceship, as well as the fight with the ETs, were recorded in a pavilion with the green background. According to the director, 50% of the film is computer-generated. The question is, how did the actors imagine the space visitors in order to realistically recreate the encounter with them? Logan Different from the two preview movies, Logan is not famous for the epic battle between the good and bad guys. It doesn't even have any great special effects unlike the X-Men movies. However, some digitalized background were added in some parts of the movie, but most of the special effects were dedicated to the film's protagonist. It's no secret that Hugh Jackman plays the role of Wolverine very well. But just the physical resemblance doesn't allow the actor to regenerate himself as a superhero, or even use his sharp adamantium claws. All of this is possible thanks to CGI. Because of that, we were able to enjoy decapitations and extractions of realistic and very bloody bullets. In addition, some special effects were used to give life to Laura, Wolverine's little clone, giving her the same claws as Logan and even throw herself at enemies with the same ferocity. Despite the lack of special effects in general, this film has received some good reviews thanks to its story and its realism. Spider-Man Homecoming It's obvious that all superhero movies use special effects nowadays. 
It's not a surprise for anyone, but what about a superhero film without CGI? Yes, it is true. Tom Holland in the latest Spider-Man movie did all the tricks you see on screen on his own, with cables and green carpets on the floor for safety, of course. But all the turns and jumps were made by the actor himself. This is not the most interesting thing yet. Many scenes of the film were made in the filming set without special effects. Yes, even with the mandatory scene in any superhero movie where the protagonist saves everyone. For the fairy scene, the developers built a full-size copy, which they filled with water and balanced with the help of special mechanisms, scaring off extra stuntmen and the actor himself. However, you can't have a superhero movie CGI-free. We are talking about the ascent of the Washington Monument. Despite the actor's talent, he's not allowed to climb the building on his own, and they built a couple of safe levels of the monument in the pavilion. After all, nobody would like if Peter Parker had an injury in the recordings, right? San Andreas All the movies about catastrophe are full of special effects. Well, it's obvious since no one is willing to destroy an entire city to create a film about the destruction of humanity. For that reason, the graphic designers in the movie San Andreas worked really hard to create a destruction scene of the state of California. It was more than 1,300 scenes with special effects for the movie. Among these scenes is the destruction of the Hoover Dam, which is also shown in the movie Transformers. Houses falling one after another, and the best part is the huge wave washing out California State off the map. Of course, no one would ever use real water to make these scenes nowadays. But just imagine how many gallons of water would be necessary to create a scene like this. Also, the movie wouldn't be complete if the Golden Gate Bridge wasn't destroyed. It seems like film directors have a special relationship with this bridge, because we often see the destruction of it on the big screen. Like in X-Men, Star Trek, Pacific Rim and Godzilla. These are just some of the movies in which we can see this famous bridge suffering. Apart from that, the artists of the film in San Andreas made an effort to achieve very realistic scenes of destruction, combining real images and computer-generated images, performing all kinds of cinematographic tricks. But the most amazing special effects of the film is Dwayne Johnson, who played his first dramatic role in this film, and his acting skills are pretty impressive, don't you think? Transformers The Last Night If you have watched any of the Transformers movie saga, you know that there are a lot of explosions, gigantic robots and incredible action scenes involved. Or maybe this is just another example of drama and good acting quality. But we still love them, and one of the main features of these films are the special effects. Well, this is not a surprise given that Michael Bay is a true master in the science of CGI. In this movie, several scenes with no actors involved were created from scratch using computers. But there were scenes filmed with our beloved green background too. For example, the scene where the heroes are running towards a big scary wave. The actors really got wet using a special inclined platform and the epic landscape was added later. The same can be said with the falling scene where the lives of the characters, played by Mark Wahlberg and Laura Haddock, were literally hanging by a thread. The characters were hanging over an abyss, grabbing only a small metal thingy. To create a real sensation of fear, the filming team created a special device. A whole room that rotated the actors, forcing them to fall. Truth be told, the actors did have safety devices, and nothing was exploding around them, but they still did a great job. Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. We look forward to reading them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.